Shalom, all praises unto Yah by Shem Yahushai, double honors to the Apostle of GMS. This is going to be a um, a quick um, you know, documentary getting into the book of Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, and the things pertaining to it. I'm not going to use any other precepts. I'm just going to read the thing uh, raw and maybe put some commentary on this. So Ezekiel 36 it says, Also thou son of man, prophecy unto the mountains of Israel, and ye mountains of Israel hear the word of the Lord. That's what's happening out there. The different um, camps, if you will, are likened unto the mountains. Because in, in the future, those are going to become, you know, like governments, man. All right. And, and you know, starting first with the elders, you're going to do it. This word of the most size is going to be used for. Drink right? the milk first before you build up to eat the meat. So it's steps. You got you gotta, you got to crawl before you walk. You got to walk before you run. Go ahead. Them that have weaned from. This is the safe Lord power, Yahweh, because an enemy has set against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours and in our possession. And that's talking about the land of Israel, which is in the possession of the heathen right now. Okay. And really, all the earth, as pursuing to the book of Second Ezra, where it talks about if the earth, if all things be made for our sake, why do we not possess the inheritance? This is their Close and line, rubbish and trash to get burned and light. Yeah. See and say, thus saith the Lord power, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side. You have become a wretched a possession to the residue of the heathen. Okay, and you have taken up and you are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Okay, so we are an infamy to these different nations, man. We're in, you know, the favelas, man. We're in the, 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 the lowest state amidst all of these different, different heathen. Okay, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, power, rather more. I mean, the fourth verse. Uh, therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord, and thus saith the Lord, power to the mountains, and to the hills, and to the rivers, and to the valleys, and to the desolate wastes, and to the cities that are forsaken, right, which they become a prey and derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the, uh, have I spoken against the, um, against Idumia, which they have appointed my land for their possession, and the joy of all their heart is to dis, with the despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Prophecy, therefore, concerning the land of Israel, which is talking about, going to be talking about the land now, it says, and say unto the, the mountains, and to the hills, and to the rivers, and uh, sorry, and, and thus saith the Lord Power: Behold, I have spoken in the fire, in the in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have gone the, the shame of the heathen. Therefore. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I have lifted up my hand, and surely the heathen that are round about you uh, shall bear their shame. Right, and it says, But ye mountains of Israel shall um, shall shoot forth your branches. And you're seeing camps popping up all over the place. 
Because we're sure. I was reading out of Revelation 1 and 3. It said, blessed is he that reads. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Can you but these spirits of vengeance are going to be let loose. Right. And they're going to... They gonna... Oh, pasa por el medio de la ciudad, por el medio de Jerusalén, y ponle una seña, un señal en la frente. So nosotros tenemos que dar esa marca para que tú tengas las escrituras, para, para, que, para que no pases el juicio que está por venir por América. So, so we saw a son of... Uh, it says, and you shall yield fruit to my people Israel, for they are at my they are at my hand to come. It says, for behold, I am for you, and I will turn I will turn to unto you, and you shall be tilled, and I will multiply men upon you, or house of Israel, even all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and and the ways shall be built. So. In a literal sense, that's going to happen to the city of Jerusalem, but in a spiritual sense, the, the spiritual house of your um, Yahweh Bashim Shai, the church, is being built up, right? The spiritual tabernacles of David are being built up, but he's going to be a physical manifestation on the earth of that, you know, in a time to come, okay? And Yahweh Bashim Shai Rataza, you know, it's going to come soon, man, all right? It says, and yea, I'll cause men to walk upon you, even my men, even my people, rather more, Israel. And they shall possess thee, and thou shalt be their inheritance, and thou shalt be no more thence, thou shalt no more then, henceforth bereave them of men. It says, Thus saith the Lord Power, because they say unto you, uh, thou, thou land that devourest up men, thou bereavest thy nations, therefore thou shalt devour men no more, neither shall thou bereave the nations any more, saith the Lord. So, uh, when you go to the book of Micah, the third chapter, all right, it talks about how we, you know, people ain't going to learn of war anymore. And, you know, ultimately, when we get set up, there ain't going to be no talk of war and, and so on and so forth. All right, because it's going to be a, a peaceful nation. All right, he says, neither will I cause men to hear in you the shame of the heathen anymore. Talking about all of that, that madness that when we was in the, in the land, we was committing, man, all that witchcraft and, you know, serving other gods and all of that. All right, neither shall thou, uh, neither shall thou bear the reproach of the people anymore. Neither shall thou cause thy nations to fall any more, saith the Lord. Moreover, the, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, all right, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own ways and their own doings, right? There was before me as an uncleanness of a removed woman. He says, Wherefore I poured out my fury upon them, and their blood was sprinkled, and, the, and, and for the blood uh, that they had shed upon the land, and for the idols which they had polluted it with. And I scattered them amongst the heathen, and I dis and they were dispersed through the Blake. countries. The name is Cornelius. Flake, what are you doing? The name is Cornelius. Flake, what are you doing? The name is Cornelius. According to the way, um, according to their way, according to their own doings, I judged them, and and when they entered into the, when they entered, when they. And when they entered unto the heathen whither the, where they had they went, they profaned my holy name. And when they said um and when they said to them, These are the people of the Mosai and are gone forth out of the land, but had pity on my holy name. Okay, so the Lord's gonna have pity on his name, he's gonna deliver us for his own name's sake. Okay, the twenty first verse again, but I had pity on my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned amongst the heathen whither they went. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord Power, I'll do, I do this not for your sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have refrained amongst the heathen. Okay, so you can, um, let me read this. It says, And I will sanctify my great name, which ye have profaned amongst the heathen, and which ye have profaned it in the midst of them. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Power, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which shall be sanctified. And when I shall be sanctified in you, all right, before their eyes, and I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, okay? So pretty much with that, I must say, all praise unto Yahweh, Shimei Al-Shai, double honors to the apostles of JMS, Shalom. All right, and honors to you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. So let me say that again, say, all praise unto Yahweh, Shimei Al-Shai, double honors to the apostles of JMS, and honors to you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity.